Yesterday I saw a little girl walking by herself. I asked her where her parents were, and joyfully, without hesitation, she pointed to her two moms. When we're little, we don't judge or discriminate. We just love. However, by the time we hit our teenage years, we begin all these hateful things. And why? Because society told us to. Society tells us what is right, wrong, who to love, and who to hate, and we choose to listen. This is unacceptable. It is causing major hate crimes, unequal rights, and horrible death rates. So today I'm here to inform you about the LGBT, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender community, what we face, the need to help, and ways you can. So that if this question is ever asked again to anyone, regardless of age, they can answer just like the little girl did. We make the first impression on someone within the first seven seconds of meeting them. However, the society is not giving the LGBTs the time or the day to even try to meet them. This is causing so many hate crimes. It has led hate crimes to be the third world's largest crime. And not only do LGBTs have to face hate crime, but they also have to face bullying and harassment at school. My best friend who came out in seventh grade got queer written on her locker and couldn't come to school for weeks. Another coworker of mine, her mom just came out and it took her till she was past her 40s to come out because of the bullying and hate dread they receive. If this continues, the bullying and the hating, then it's gonna cause many more LGBTs to try to commit suicide or actually succeed. In a survey taken by the indentant in January 2013, it showed that half the LGBT suffer mental health issues and that 40% try to commit suicide. This is, this is wrong. We need to lower the statistics. And ways that we can help and lower these is by doing one of three things, or at least three of these things. We can, one, support them. At this instant, it is better to say nothing than to say no. Gays suffer worse when their parents don't support them or they don't love them. Gays need love and support from everyone, friends, family, everything. It will help them get kids, it will help them continue their school, and many other things that I'll talk about later. So just at least not say no. Also, open your heart. Don't judge them based on who they love or who they choose to be with. Judge them on who they are, the person they are. Because you could be losing your very best friend because you chose to hate them because of who they chose to love. Also, don't use stereotypes or foul language. When you say that shirt is gay or they look like queers, it's actually very defensive and you're putting a negative stereotype for the word gay when actually in the dictionary, it means happy. So why don't we keep that happy word for them? If you help them, you're not just helping them, but you're helping the community. You're putting kids in homes. There are over 400,000 orphans in the world. And there are more, there are more than 2 million gay couples ready to adopt. Yet Catholic churches and places that hold orphanages are shutting down. And why? Because they would rather have no one adopt than have the gays adopt. This is unfair. It's not right to the children. And it's known that gays are one of the many and most to put these special needed children into homes. You're also helping students get an education. Because of the bullying that nine out of 10 LGBTs suffer, they suffer sexual harassment. And we, even though we adults and teachers say, hey, let's not bully, they turn the other cheek when the gays are being harassed and bullied at school. And it's known that gays are more susceptible to abusing drugs, abusing alcohol, and many other things. So why not we stop the bullying so that they can continue their education and maybe be the next president, maybe help find a cure to cancer, but we would never know if we continue to use stereotypes and bully them. You're also helping 
but you need to help them go to church, help them love. But by always bashing them and telling them they're going to hell when they never ask for your opinion, you're keeping them away from God. And God wants us to love and bring people to him. But by telling us that we're going to hell, when we don't believe we are and the Bible has been rewritten several times, we begin to resent God. So please remove the speck from thy eye before you try to remove the log from thy neighbors. Let judging be for God and them to do on judgment day. So if you help us out, you choose to give us support, to open your heart, not use stereotypes, and choose to let us love and marry and adopt, you're going to be doing a great thing for yourself because you're going to be a loving individual. You're going to show great things for your kids, and you're going to help us out and help many kids and education and many other things. So today, now that I've told you about what we face, the need of you to help, and the ways that you can, hopefully you can. And if you still wonder what a gay family looks like, please go to this link. It'll show you not to fear the LGBTs and the family that they would provide. So why don't we lower the statistics on bullying and hate crimes? Why don't we make the society a new, loving society? Thank you.